my fabulous friends, I hope you're doing well. Today, of course, I am going to do a reading about the next year for King Charles for the royal family. Uh, this today, is September seventh, and of course, September eighth is the one year anniversary of the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. And so this is uh, at exactly 365 days after she has passed. Um, so I want to do a reading. I'm going to see, I'm going to get the general energy of the royals just as a group. And then we're going to ask the question, what's the general energy, what's the general forecast for the royals? So without further ado, let's get started. What's the general energy around the royals? And I just did that aura reading. It looks like a lot of them are in really good place. Um, at peace with a lot of things. I was reading in August, there was a lot of fighting going on, arguing, um, as in any family. They're only human. Please l allow them some human uh, emotions, um, uh, uh, human situations. Um, and it seems like when I did the aura reading that everything, if everybody was more at a peaceful place in their life, which was nice to see. And look what just popped out, the The devil. Uh, let's see. So let's see. What's the general energy other than solemnly marking the one year anniversary date um, of the passing of their mother and grandmother and great grandmother? Um, what is the general energy? What is the general energy? What is the general energy of the royal family as a whole? What is the general energy of the royal family as a whole? What is the general energy of the royal family as a whole? Okay, cards are ready. Oh, big hop. Oh, three of swords in all. Oh, three of swords in reverse. The betrayal. I'm trying to see how come these aren't. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Way off camera here. Three of Swords in reverse. I love that. That's end. That's end of heartbreak. Nine of Wands. Yeah, in reverse. It has been a bit of a slog. Uh, Page of Cups upright. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Ten of Swords in reverse. Ooh, ooh, ooh. King of Coins. Well, we all know who the King of Coins is. <sighs> I was hoping not to say their names. Um, and it's true. They have, they have hit rock bottom. There's only one way to go now and it's up. And, um, they feel like this is the stabbing in the back. Um, look at this black cat laughing at them. Look at them stabbed in the back, stabbed in the back, um, by the king of coins by that would be. Harold. Um, they're really trying hard to get over their heartbreak. And the phrase is when you've lost someone special, the first year is absolutely the hardest. Um, and it doesn't, I don't know if it gets easier. You just learn to cope with, with what you're doing here with the page of cups. You might hear some good surprising news. Uh, strength upright. Well, this is Anne. This is Anne. I've asked about the royal family. This is Anne as strength. Uh, the devil now showed up in reverse. Um, I think they've they've kind of just let go of the whole situation. King of Cups, that's uh, that's Charles. That's that's definitely Charles. Look at him; he's looking at the King of Coins, which will be Harry eventually. He's he's too young to be the King of Coins right now. Um, I wonder if that's more representative of the firm, right? Holding the purse strings and um, and whatnot. Because the King of Cups is looking right at the King of Coins. And I don't believe Harry's the King of Coins. Uh, if anything, this might even be Queen Elizabeth. She was a Taurus, um, you know, and, and she was the Queen, which is the King isn't even higher. So she could have the um, archetype of being the King, right? Because Prince Philip was just a, a, a prince. He, he could never be king because she was the king of the castle, right? 
Seven of Wands. They've been defending themselves a lot. Yeah, they have, eh? Three of Coins. So I think they're planning for the future. I think they're planning the way they can defend themselves. And here we have the Ace of Swords. Who are they cutting out? Who are they planning to cut out? That's surprising. The High Priestess. Yeah, they're going to keep things a lot closer to their chest. Uh, Two of Swords in reverse. Five of Swords in reverse. The Magician in reverse. And the Queen of Cups in reverse. Death in reverse. Uh-oh. Because the death in reverse to me, when it comes with a person, is that sometimes can be, not all the time, can be the death of that person. And the Queen of Cups is Camilla. And the Magician in reverse can, can sometimes be bad doctoring. Magician upright can be a, a doctor. Uh, sometimes can be um, alternative medicine. The Magician Upright uh, in reverse is bad advice. Is five of swords in reverse. Two of swords. Ooh, ooh. Don't like that. What's ending? Eight of wands in reverse. But she looks so good. Knight of coins. Now this is, uh, this is Harry. Knight of coins. Upright. Queen of swords. Upright. Page of swords. Upright. Knight of swords. Upright. Oh, oh, are they thinking of cutting Harry out? Are they thinking of cutting Harry out? There's the divorce card, but he's not divorcing the Queen of Wands. I think uh, we might hear some announcements here with this Knight of Swords and this Page of Swords. Um, maybe they've come to the conclusion that they are going to do something about the line of succession and the titles and, and all of that. I think they're, they're getting ready to divorce Harry. Attack, attack, attack. Two of coins, the merch. Queen of coins. Well, that's the mom. There she is also, um, right? That would be Queen Elizabeth because the Queen of coins is in reverse. This is not Catherine. Justice in reverse, page of coins, and nine of coins. Are they going to do something that um, brings justice back? Something that, that Harry and Meghan here, nine of coins in reverse, have taken from her and try and, and, and get it back here with this justice in reverse. I think there, I think, uh, I think they've come to some conclusions, some decisions. I wonder if they waited till, let's just wait until the one year anniversary. And, uh, and I, you know, when I read about his coronation, I said the first six months are going to be choppy. And after that, it's going to be smooth and happy. And it had a lot to do with Camilla. So I wonder if this isn't the end of Camilla in her lifetime. Maybe it's the end of, of Harry kicking Camilla around. Something's ending for Camilla. Something's end, Something's definitely. The death in reverse is, is ending. Like that, you don't transform. You just end. It's, and it, it's that sudden stop at the end. Um, yeah, I think they're going to try and get something back that the queen gave them. Now they've already taken Frogmore back. So is it the titles? Have they made a decision to take back the titles, the line of succession? I could have something to do here with this page of coins, even though this is my salesman card. Um, also pages, this could also be um, Archie. So with this justice in reverse, so is this something that they're going to um, negotiate 
they're going to attack and try and get back maybe some truth about that. If I were them, if I was reading for somebody and the cards came up like this way, I'd say be, be afraid, be very afraid. Especially with this devil in reverse, that's they're ready to let go. They're ready to let go. They're ready to say enough is enough is enough. So they might have made that decision as a family during the summit, as I as I, I my card showed me. Um, I think they're just waiting for for this one year mark, and I think uh, the fact that they weren't invited yet, Harry's in the UK, it speaks massive massive volumes, and that might might be why. Um, Harry was in the UK as I as my card showed me he was in Balmoral and then he was at that um, concert and he looked miserable so did he get the news that it's done they aren't doing it anymore and they're going to come out a lot stronger that th that his wife is not allowed not welcome and um I think I think we're going to see some movement on some succession and titles and justice returned to the the queen's name. Right? Cuz all of this puts a, a shadow on her name as well. Okay, so let's see what do we have? So that's the current energy. That's the current maybe that's why they were in such a good mood at that Highland Games. Like did you see Anne and Charles? They were in such good moods. Um, they were happy, they were laughing, they looked great, Anne looked great, Charles looked great, Camilla looked great, like, looked like they were really having a good time, and maybe it's because they made a decision about something. Have you ever had, like, a tough decision to make, and, and, and it just plays on your mind, and then once you make the decision, it's like a, a ton of bricks were, were off your back? Um... Uh, and plus all their ores showed up really nice. Like nobody had, not even one person had a had a, a darker aura, except for the one I read for at the very end, but he's not a royal. Um, that was really interesting to me. So I wonder if they came together as a family and have made a decision. And uh, there he's now person non grata. All right, so let's get the general. What's the royal family going to be like? What's the general um, energy for the royal family in the next year? And next year, one year is really ticky, tricky with um, tarot cards. Usually, you really more than three to six months, um, especially when you're doing something like a big family like the royal family. But we'll see. We'll see what comes out. So remember, this is based on nothing changing. Right, so we're asking the tarot cards what's the next year going to be like, and they're basing it on the energy of today. So if nothing changes from today, this is what the tarot cards say are probable or to happen within a year. Cards are ready. Okay. Oh, the high priestess. Strength. Six of Swords in reverse, Nine of Cups in reverse, and the Knight of Wands in reverse. I know people argue with me, but I think Anne is really going to step back. I really honestly do. Um, she really doesn't want to move much forward. Yeah, Ace of Swords in reverse. I think she. I think that's the person who's going to be... Five of Swords in reverse. Ten of Swords. You saw how many times I shuffled them, but yet they came up again. Oh, I don't like that Ten of Swords. Queen of Wands. You know what? I think... Uh, you know what? If Anne does retire, I'm going to be the world's most famous <laughs> card reader that I predicted it. The Hermit. Oh, is Harry coming back within the next year? Ace of Coins in reverse. Well, I don't think we're going to see any pregnancies, which makes sense. Well, I don't know. What about Beatrice and... Um, 
I just said Beatrice and, and she is a Leo. I wonder if we're gonna see her come back. Seven of coins, the Empress and the lovers. And the Three of Wands. Hmm. Huh. So in the next year, I don't like this Seven of Coins. I, this is to me another ending. Something that they, something that's a burden ends. And I think here with this Ace of Coins, sometimes Ace of Coins can be pregnancies. And that's why I said, I don't think there'll be another baby. And then we got the Empress and the Lovers. Thank you, cards. Um, I think this has to do with money. They might have a um, something to do with money. Not trust me. Not that they're broke or, or anything like that. Something might come along that really costs them a lot of money. Um, you know, for example, um, you know, like at that fire at Windsor Castle or something like that. I'm not saying they had to. That was. The, I think that's taxpayers Windsor Castle, but. One of, you know, something like that. Something's going to come along that costs them a lot of money. Or money, something they invested in, isn't isn't going to come to fruition. Um, somebody else going to get married. I'm trying to think who would get married. Um, all, all of Andrews are married. Um, Anne's are married. Of course, Charles are married. Edwards are too young to get married um, because we have the pregnancy and the lovers here. I th it, and three of wands in reverse can be an unplanned pregnancy. Unplanned pregnancy or, um, you know, um, an un a, a shocking, quick, quick marriage kind of thing. Um, is Beatrice going to come back? Because we have the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands here and the, on the Ten of Swords. And I keep telling you they are running out of royals. And I wonder if we're going to see Beatrice come back as a working royal. Um, here's Harry back by himself. This is not Megan. I'm not getting Megan vibes from this. If this was in reverse, I'd say I'd say it's Megan. Megan and Harry are coming back. Uh, but she's upright and there's no way that they, uh, they will never accept her back ever. That, that, that is not going to happen. I think if anything, we're going to see Anne uh, step back and Beatrice step up. And remember, we're going a year into the, into the future here. I gotta be careful. I got, I got a, I got a zap for, I got a spanking for showing that, that nudie. Um... Temperance, King of Coins. Who's this King of Coins that keeps showing up? Page of Swords and the World. <gasps> and Death. Well, I've predicted for a while now, somebody's leaving. There's somebody leaving with the world and then Death in reverse. Somebody is coming to the end of their chapter. End of story. End of story. Somebody's coming to the end of their chapter. Um... I think it's secret who is moving on. So I think we're going to see, we're going to see a big name royal. Now I wonder if this king is one of the cousins, one of the older cousins um, of, of Queen Elizabeth. So it would be Charles' second cousin. I wonder if one of them is an earth sign and therefore they keep showing up as the king of coins. Um, I wonder... If we're if we're gonna lose one of those older cousins, um, dukes, they're dukes, Duke of Kent, Duke of Gloucester, Gloucestershire. I know everyone's gonna correct me. Um, what about uh, if Prince Michael? Is that Duke of Kent or I think there's three of them. There's three cousins of Queen Elizabeth, and uh, actually there's four. Well, four, three male cousins, and I think there's a female cousin as well. So there's four cousins left but um they aren't all working royals um i think we're going to see the we're going to see a loss of one of them before we get to this time next year um 
Yeah, I I think I still see they're gonna have a rocky year. They're gonna have a, a rocky year again. Um, I think we're gonna. So there's my predictions for the year. I think we're gonna see Anne step back. I think we're gonna see Beatrice step forward. Um, I think we're gonna see Harry come back by himself, and I, we're gonna lose um, a senior royal, which is. I mean, you don't have to be a card reader to know that. I mean, some of them are really getting up there. And like basically every day after 80 is a bonus day, right? Um, and I think some of them are, are well deep into their 80s. So um, that's, not, that's not a shocking, you know, magical prediction either. But just with the world here and death in reverse, I think we're going to actually see the end of, of one of them, at least one of them if not more, if not more. All right, so that's the uh, next year of uh, King Charles reign. Uh, thank you very much for spending your time with me. I certainly appreciate it, and I appreciate you so much. Take good care. See you online. Bye for now. <coughs>